Good morning, Blessed Media family. We are here with yet another episode of Rising Stars, whereby we continue to unveil buried talents here at Rising Stars. So today in the building, we have our beautiful guest, uh, John Munodawafa, a keyboardist, and a gospel singer. So welcome, John. No. Thank you. Okay, so we would like to know more about John. Who is John Nodalfa? Uh, John Nodalfa is a young keyboardist and gospel artist born in the rural areas of Mashingo. Uh, I learned at Margareta Yugo High School and Primary School for the Blind, uh, which is about 70 kilometers away from Mashingo. Uh, I studied, uh, in fact, let me just say I am in a music industry. At the same time, I am chasing my academics. All right, that's beautiful. Okay, so were you born blind or something happened in your life? Yes, I was uh, born blind. I think uh, those that we call cataracts and they seem to be genetic because if you look at uh, my father, he's got that same eyesight challenges as well as my brother, Miara Zimnodawafa. Yes. All right. So what inspired you uh, to be a keyboardist or where did you feel that I have this thing in me, like I, I am a keyboardist or I am a gospel singer? What really inspired you and when did you start? I think uh, I was inspired by a certain musician. Uh, right. When I was growing up, I used to listen to Alec Jesus music, okay. uh, and it happened that at school we had some instruments which included piano, mm -hmm. and the accordion, marimba, and the likes. So I would listen uh, music from the radio. Mm -hmm. After that, I would go uh, and start practicing what I've been listening. Uh, from the piano, so... Steve Wanda, mm -hmm. Steve Kekan, mm -hmm. uh, our own uh, music icon, the late Dr. Paul Matari, mm -hmm. all those inspired me and I had to image so as to show that disability on its own doesn't mean inability. <laughs> When you decided that you want to be wanted to be a keyboardist, when you decided that you wanted to be a singer, what did your your parents or your relatives say about it? Uh, they didn't know, uh, since I, 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 I always spent uh, most of the time at our school because I was uh, at boarding school. Okay. So after. I had uh, practiced and played keyboard. I, 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 I was then, by that time, invited to churches. Uh, our mission, uh, I, I think, uh, the church at, at uh, 
page our school because our school was a mission school by then so they they didn't uh, know that I am that good at playing keyboard since they had not seen me at any event was at home I didn't have a keyboard but later on when they saw when they saw it they really appreciated it and they up to now they like it okay namo zangu munoziziwa ndavisa shangu zvesene namo zangu ndazia pano ndinzwe chirau moyo une uzamu baya baya Mandu ziri mushure mangu muno ziziwa Vano dana hu ziku And in what way do they support you? Uh, in fact, they, they, just, they just encourage me to continue uh, with the music industry and they do believe one day we shall speak of something else through this music journey. Right. Okay. And as you're a gospel singer, right, when did you um, start singing? Like, when did you publish your first track? Uh, I first published my first uh, album in 20... In fact, I recorded an album in 2016, and then I released it in 2017. Uh, that's when I scooped the, uh, the third position on Radio Zimbabwe Coca-Cola Top 50 uh, with my first song entitled Nidzi Virile, which is also a, an album title. Albums do you have as well? So far, I have two albums. And how many and singles? And one single. Okay, that's great. So, among your two albums, which one is your favorite album? Uh, I would say uh, all albums, both albums. Okay. <laughs> uh, my favorite album since when I sing. I believe uh, that I should first be satisfied uh, with what I have recorded before I publish it to the people. So everything that I released is my favorite. Okay. And which song would you say um, it, it influenced most people, it influenced most of your, of your audience? Okay, uh, there is this song uh, entitled Tenda, which I featured uh, my brother Minyaranz Munodawa. Uh, the song was uh, number one on Radio Zimbabwe 2019 Coca Cola Top 50. Uh, it, it really encourages people to have faith, uh, even when it seems uh, that their expectations have not yet been met they should just have faith so it encourages people uh, I believe that song uh, is a hit And how do people respond to your music as you are blind, especially blind? All right. Uh, uh, I would say some uh, may look down upon uh, you before they s they see you playing. Uh, once they see me playing the keyboard, I 
tell you they really enjoy it. I have uh, so far uh, all the events that I have been invited to play the keyboard. Uh, I left people uh, in excitement. Mm -hmm. They really enjoy the way I play the keyboard. I don't know until I. Right, right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, if you're given a chance to do a collaboration with any of the artists, who would you want it to be? Uh, if I get the chance, I would wish to do a collaboration with uh, Alec Macheso, mm -hmm. Jack Reza, uh Charles Charamba, maybe as Mary. Then internationally, I would wish to have a collab with uh, Steve Kekan, Steve Wanda, mm -hmm. uh, and I think Ed Sheeran. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of the I would wish to. And what are some of the challenges that you have experienced throughout your career? Uh, the challenges that I have experienced is a, a rising artist. Uh, I think, firstly, uh, being a, a, an upcoming artist is a challenge on its own. Since people uh, may not have a belief in you, so uh, as an upcoming artist, you need to, 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 to perform to many audiences, uh, which means an exposure, of which a, an exposure is, a, is something which is uh, difficult to find, uh, especially when you're an uprising artist. Uh, let me take, for example, these current uh, online shows you will find out uh, that uh, the only ones that are invited are those uh, big names. I think if you, you watch those online shows, you can agree with me. Oh, also, um, being someone who is partially blind, uh, who is visually impaired, uh, many people have got the belief that uh, maybe these people are uh, used to go and beg in the streets, so there is nothing uh, that there is nothing good that can come out of them. Those uh, are the, some of the things in other people's mindsets. Not all the people think of that, but some people may think of that. And uh, to me, that's one of the challenges that we we, we, we meet up until we prove that disability is not in an inability. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, when talking of uh, uh, equipment to use, mm -hmm. let's say I've been uh, invited for a show, uh, the challenges are that uh, as of now, I do not have a personal equipment that is uh, instrument uh, and a PA system, of course, currently I've got a, a, a keyboard, which 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 I was uh, sponsored by a certain well wisher by the name uh, Mr. Mr. Ateiwa of the uh, Tropical Sound uh, and Music Distribution. Uh, so those are some of the challenges, as well as transport for the shows. You will find out that. Uh, as an artist, sometimes you, 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 you may have to go a, a, a long journey for a show and re when relying on public transport, that becomes a challenge. Also, there are some interviews that uh, include t tele television, radio interviews and, and other online interviews, mm -hmm. other social media interviews. Maybe you will be invited for a night and some of the public transport will, will no longer be operating. Mm -hmm. So that will become a challenge. Uh, so I think transport is another challenge. Okay, yes. all right. And uh, as for your career, yes. uh, how do you see yourself 
uh, in the next future, like, what really do you want to achieve? Uh, as an artist, uh, I want to achieve being a, one of the top musicians, mm -hmm. both locally and uh, internationally. Mm -hmm. uh, I would even wish to be an ambassador of uh, those with disabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be a voice of the voiceless. So as the Munodawafa family, what are you preparing for us this year? Uh, as Munodawafa family, I think we are a gifted mm -hmm. family, we are a talented family. So we are coming up with a certain single song uh, before the end of this year. Uh, that will be I, mm -hmm. uh, my brother, Munodawafa Munodawafa. My father and my other young brother. So just keep waiting for it anytime from now. All right. So any plans for any rings and bells? Sorry. Any plans yet for any rings and bells? Uh, we shall. We shall. We shall be uh, updating you okay. with time. All right, so I'm pretty sure your fans would like to know if you're married, if you're taken. <laughs> uh, for now, I'm not yet married. Uh, I'm still, I'm still uh, trying to pursue one or two things before I get uh, married. Yes. Okay, so. What advice would you like to give to uh, other upcoming artists, uh, other upcoming keyboardists, or any person who feel as if uh, being disabled would uh, limit them to do whatever they would want to do? All right. Uh, I would like to say to them, music is a gen with ups and downs. So. One should not lose hope, uh, especially when you get disappointed. Because sometimes you will perform to fans who can tell you, ah, no, you are, you are just doing nothing. And after, in fact, I would say, you will meet negative comments mm -hmm. and positive comments. But as an upcoming artist, you must uh, learn to appreciate everything that comes your way. Uh, and I would also want to say um, we must work hard. Mm. Yes, there is a, behind every success uh, there is a hard work. Mm. So we must work hard in trying to achieve whatever we want to achieve. Also, uh, be your own. Don't try to 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 imitate someone uh, because in trying to do so, the world has already lost the real you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you must be yourself mm -hmm. in this uh, music journey, in this music industry, and in whatever you do. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, when people would want to get in touch with you. Uh, may we have your details? Well, uh, I am available on WhatsApp. Uh, my number is uh, plus two six three seven seven two five nine nine three zero three, and I'm also uh, on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is John Modawafa, and my Facebook page is. Music. All right. Okay. Thank you, John. Yeah. So we have heard from John Monodawa, a keyboardist and a gospel singer. Oh, what a beautiful talent. Uh, so that's it for today. As we have heard from John Monodawa himself. So do not forget to subscribe to our 
channel blessed media and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to put in any suggestions you might have in our comment section so that's it for today we'll meet next time uh, when we continue to give you more of this talent thank you